Hey, what is up everybody? Welcome back to another video. Today we are trying out one of the other genres I really enjoy playing, the survival city builder genre. And today we are in Timberborn. Uh, Timberborn is a city builder in a world where there are no humans, but beavers have remained. And you can take control of a colony of beavers and basically help them survive through droughts and build the ultimate beaver empire, which is what my goal is. I'm going to build an army of beavers to take over the world. One beaver at a time. All right, so we're in. We need to name our settlement. I'm gonna call it something weird, something stupid. I'm naming it Beaver Lock. I don't know why. I just want to. Okay, so we're starting off on this side of the map, or oh, starting off on this little map. It is huge, but there's one river flowing through it, which is okay. Uh, I need to start off with getting some beavers going in, getting some wood. So I'm gonna plop two lumberjack flags down there. I'm gonna grab this, gonna run that through there and run that through there. They'll start tying up this area when I mark all of this. Uh, what is the range on this thing? Okay, so they can actually range all the way back there, which is fantastic. I'm just gonna mark, give them all of this, all of this, just go, just go ham, eat all of that. I'm getting some water built up over here. And to do that, I think I'm going to plant a path through this way. I'm just gonna tell them to come and destroy this area quickly. Uh, where is this thing? Destroy these things quickly. Build a path over here. Which I'll just connect up over there like that. Sweet, so now we've got... And we need to get a food collector, which... I think the best place for me to get a food collector would be over here. So that they can get the berries from there. Uh, yeah, that should get us starting off really, really well. Also planning on maybe getting a farmhouse set in the corner over here. So that I can then connect that up over here like that. And that should set up this this area is where we farm stuff. And I will maybe get the lumberjacks to eventually move down here. Or I will... I don't know how I'm going to do this to be honest. I'll let them eat all of this up. And I think I'm going to have this area be where I plant wood. And stuff like that so get that initiated I might as well just grab yeah I might as well just run that through there and eventually I'll have a lumberjack planted here and then I'll have him cover this little entire little area I'll get a log pile built over here in this corner and I'll get a warehouse uh, possibly built over there this nice little yeah it fits in right right well center there Okay, so what's another thing? We need to build houses. Hmm. Could actually just build a couple of houses back here. Might actually just do that. And I don't have a way to go another story up just yet. So I'll drop that there. That's four houses. That should give us enough space to really do this well uh yeah i'll run that through there then i want to get some science going which i can do by actually you know what i'm not going to do that i'm going to go to leisure and get some leisure built up this way so they all can come sit here and just chill for a little while but i definitely need some science science is very important in this game and i think to do that i will just plant one science dome over there Okay, sweet. So with all of this being built and set up, I definitely need a few more beavers just to run there. Would be I'll, I'll do that. So then I'll just get somebody to come and demo this thing as well. And I can plant a road there and a road there. And we'll have two of these set up and ready to go as well. Something I might do is I might just demolish that one as well. Just so I can get some water running in there, which is really awesome. It's an awesome feature about this game. You can manipulate where the water goes because you can actually build dams. Like, here's an entire tab just for dams. And it's something I can't wait to mess around with. It would push this out a bit further so I can get this entire block set as food. Now, I'm a very block orientated person. So, for me, if the, if it, the green reaches far enough out in here, I'll create a block where this is 
only one type of resource. Like, I'm, I don't know why, I'm just a very block-oriented person. I enjoy giving things blocks. And it actually does. Sweet, it actually does reach all the way out there. So, I think... I'll do that because you actually plant like decorations which give effects to areas in the area, uh, which give effect to stuff. So I get carrots planted up here, like that. And oh, they're running out of water. Yeah, they need somebody to come run water. How is this? Oh, it's not passed up. That is why. That is my fault. So sorry. Okay, so that can go there. I do not have a forester just yet, which is... Which sucks. Um, a forester is a very, very important tool. Helps for a lot of things. These houses still need to be built. The forester is very important because it's the only way you can plant trees and get those types of things done. So I really need them to focus on that. I don't know what I'm going to do here, but... Hey, we've... We have a decent amount of logs, which is great. So this means I can actually build a lumber mill. But how do I want to power it? I think I'll have to go to the power wheel. I think maybe running that there and getting a lumber mill built around here like that might not be a bad idea and I'll just run a path down this way if I really need to I can always build another one of these over here which, which I'll probably do I'll probably do that build another one over there future proofing a little bit make sure that I've gotten double the water storage coming in and I think just for in case uh, I'll run a path this way so that each one has about two so that this one is servicing those two this one will service those two and I'll have enough water to go around okay and we can unlock the forester so the forester I'm going to I'm going to plop the forest over here which means I can now actually go and get all of these demolished. So that means I can quickly go and I can plant some birch. Yes, I can get some birch going over here. Like that. And this will be my birch area and this will be my, my pine area. It's going to take some time for them to dig all of this up or eat all of this up or whatever. But that also means that I can now plant blueberries over here. Which is another fantastic little resource. But I can also have these guys come over. But here, get that out of the way. Because I think I'm just going to run a road down there. Then I'm going to have sunflower and potatoes. And all that stuff. Because here we've got sunflowers, potatoes and wheat. And I'll separate them here. I can get wheat over there like that and I guess I'm just gonna run an entire road through here like that but I'll put a shower down there see so now we've actually got this entire area working it is set up um, what do you guys need you guys probably need the forester he is not going to be running there right now ah uh, shit the forester isn't going to be Shit, so I need a complete I need a forester on that side. I'll get a forester that side eventually. Once I get my population up, I'll build another forester station over here. But for now, I think the carrots will be fine. Said you guys are servicing this. Uh, how far does this reach out? This actually does reach out really, really far. Okay, so then I can probably. I'll turn all of this into that and then I can probably reassign all of this to what more carrots yeah a little bit more carrots sweet and that's just a way to cut through so nice now 
This guy's servicing this area. This is servicing this area. That will be reaching over here. So. Yeah, I'm pretty, pretty... I'm actually quite happy with the setup. I think it's really well done. To a degree. I mean, like, I can move that one. Should I move that one? I should probably... You know what, I'll move that one there. And then I'm going to... Pause you. I'm going to delete you. I'm going to go down here to the forester. I'll get some blueberries set up. And I'll run you over there. With a road. Cutting you off over there. Nice. So now this is going to be servicing this area as well. And, and I can probably run some dandelions. Yeah, and I mean, pine, maple, chestnut. I'm turning a lot, uh, most of this place into a farm, but that's okay. That pine, maple, maple takes 30 days for eight. It is super, super crazy. I'll get some maple trees, maybe running through here. And I'll get some chestnut trees running over there. And that way I've got my entire industry built up and running really, really smoothly. Got an area for this running, that running, which should cover enough of everything to... Oh, this... Uh, nothing to do in range. Yes, I know, because all of this needs to be built up and worked. This guy's going to take a while to do all of this. But, that is fine. What building is lacking materials? Unable to get all the materials. Yes, I know, there is nothing for you to do at the moment. But it's okay, just give it some time. The drought is starting, which is not a great sign. But ladies and gentlemen, that is the ending of our very first episode We've got this area built like a farm, a complete and utter farm. And I don't know if I had to do it that intensely, but I think doing it that intensely was going to save me a lot of heartache and pain later on. And I do hope, like, this is going to work out and be highly successful. So, so if you guys did enjoy today's video, I do hope you just consider leaving a like and subscribing to the channel to never miss any more content. Uh, we are on day 14 of the first cycle, and this is our very first drought we are experiencing. But yeah, I plan on doing a little mini-series on this and basically just seeing how far I can get things and getting the, 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 the you know, the win goal. I don't know what the win goal is in this game, but I guess up until we eventually die or we have built a colony that is self-sustaining. But I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll catch you in the other one. And if you remember, always thank your lumberjack. The beavers will respect you. Peace.